Welcome to part three of the tutorials for setting up your remote access unit. Uh, today we'll be focusing on eCatcher. So, first thing you want to do is start our website, go to Downloads Software, scroll on down to Teleservice eCatcher version 4.0 download and install that and what comes up is this so you will want to go create a free account and you'll want to enter an account name this is what you'll set up for every device you'll ever want make sure it is available username is fine in your name continue to fill out now once you have everything filled out here hit create and you have been registered so now we'll, you will get a email to your address that you provided and be sure to check that to be able to activate. We will look in our email here and what we have is a link to click and we are now activated and ready to go. Now with our new verified login credentials let's log in and the first thing we we'll want to do is add Give it a simple name. The connection type, you will have three choices. You have permanent, triggered, or PSTN. Basically permanent is you're connected to the ethernet or you're gonna be over cellular but constantly on. Triggered means you will probably use um, a text message or something to wake it up first before you connect to it and of course PSTN being uh, phone line. Uh, for our demonstration we will do permanent over Ethernet. You have options for custom fields. This can be customer name, plant name, and machine name. Uh, things to help distinguish if you've got a, going to generate a nice long list of, of devices. And when this screen comes up, uh, the most important thing here is the activation key. So we will copy that to clipboard. Next thing we'll do is go access our device we'd set up in a previous demo. Now here, of course, username, password, default is ADM, ADM. We will go to configuration and we will start running the wizards to the right. Now here we have went over in a previous video how to set up your internet connection so we will skip these first two and go straight to talk to M. Click next. Register with the activation key that we got previously. Enter that in click next I'm not using a proxy when it's all said and done it usually takes about a minute and we'll have green check marks what that now means is that this device is registered to my account important things to note is that this device can only be registered to one account at a time uh, no other account can now access this device so now let's go back to eCatcher and now that we have it connected to talk to M we'll notice here that it shows the status of online uh, otherwise it will say offline um, and if there is for some reason it is offline and you do some work to get it online um, you have to give it uh, two or three minutes before the status on 
eCatcher will change. Uh, for example, if it was a triggered connection and you sent a wake up text to it, um, you have to wait two or three minutes for the Talk to M server to register it. So here we now are online with that particular device. So let's connect to it through the Talk to M server. And we have established a connection. This is the LAN address behind the device. So anything within this subnet uh, you can now connect to directly. For example, right now I have a VIPA PLC at address 192.3.100. And now we can view the internal web page of that PLC. So now everything here is available to me through the VPN on a secure connection that was easy to set up and establish and we did all this in under 20 minutes with some waiting here and there for setup and registration and whatnot. So I hope you see how easy it is to get your device up and running and connected and useful. If you have any questions feel free to contact us directly and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.